G'day guys, Rob here, and today you join me for episode 32 of How It Was Made. This is the Ferrari P45 Competizione. Now this is a resin model kit that I bought off eBay. Uh, the pictures in the background are not of this model kit. I'm just using those for reference. Now the kit is an unknown brand. Uh, it came in a plain box, uh, no instructions. Uh, it seemed to have quite a lot of detailed parts, but as I found out throughout the build, it was missing quite a few parts and not made so well. It did have a nice clear canopy for the model, which was good, uh, but the bod body of the model and all the parts required a ton of trimming and filing and sanding to make look decent. First thing I did was clean up all the louver vents and I actually glued those into the body so that I could paint the model in one go. I decided to use these rims instead of the ones that came in the kit. These are actually sold by legendminiatures.com in France. Uh, just wanted to add my own personal touch. I painted those in gloss black paint and then I fitted the tires onto those rims. Now I did find these decal or decal sheet uh, on eBay from ACB shop uh, for the Bridgestone Potenza tire decals. Really good quality decals, they st stuck very well to the tires uh, and pretty happy with the quality of those decals. So these are the wheels that I will be running on the model. Now they are a lot wider than the wheels that came with the model so they do stick out a little bit so I had to make a slight modification into the rear wheel wells so I figured the best way to do that was to cut out the inner face of the wheel well which was a couple of millimeters thick in resin. Uh, this enabled the wheel to tuck in uh, that extra couple of millimeters so it wasn't flush with the lip. Also another piece that didn't fit too well was this rear insert. It just didn't fit into the body at all so I had to trim a lot of that off to make it fit. Uh, this is where I started to find a lot of issues with the model. I then made some new inner wheel wells out of 1mm styrene sheet. Simply cut those to shape with a pair of scissors and then I used some super glue and glued them into place. So that's something that I wanted to tackle before I even attempted to paint the body just to make sure the stance was right. I then sprayed the interior tub which is the floor panel and a lot of other interior parts in uh, matte black Tamiya spray can. Uh, nice and easy on this one. The rear wing actually had quite a bow in it from the casting so I heated it up with a hair dryer to straighten the resin parts and then I glued the wing assembly together again so I could paint it in one go. The front section of the floor had to be red so I masked up the interior panel and then I sprayed the body and those extra parts in white 2K primer. While that was drying I moved on to the brakes. I used some panel line accent colour from Tamiya in the slots of the brake rotors uh, and then these disc pieces I sprayed all black and then I sanded off the top part of the black paint to reveal the silver uh, little lug locations. I then glued all those brake assemblies together and glued them solid behind the wheels. I then made up the seat belts out of some 3.5mm red ribbon with the photo etch buckles that came with the kit and glued those onto the seat. Uh, the dashboard had a couple of supplied photo etch pieces as well that were painted and glued on as well as this steering wheel button uh, section. I also applied some different coloured paints to the gear knob and the steering column. I then assembled the rest of the dash pieces. Not super detailed but you don't see a lot of it. I then painted the fire bottle red and applied a OMP fire decal and then I painted the body in automotive 2K Rosso Corsa red uh, and a few coats of clear coat over the top of it as well. So really happy with the paint job on this one. Uh, I didn't get any dust in it at all which was a miracle uh, but yeah as I said the body came up pretty good but I did have to spend a lot of time to clean all the resin flashing off to make it look this good. The photo etched headlight buckets were then glued together. The kit didn't have any accelerator, brake, clutch pedal so I had to make my own uh, and I had a lot of random pieces in the kit that I didn't know where they exactly went as it had no instructions but I just sort of made that up as I went along. I then glued in the pedals, the roll cage, the seat, fire bucket, 
door trims and the dashboard, uh, and that basically complete the interior. I then moved on to the front radiator and air support panel. These are just three separate pieces. I just simply glued those together and that's ready to glue onto the body. As usual, I had to do some black paint outs on the inside, uh, just where the mesh pieces went. I then sprayed the mesh pieces in primer first and then just some matte black Tamiya spray uh, and then I glued those pieces in. Again, the rear mesh piece was not a really good fit, but I made it work. I then glued in the other mesh pieces in the front of the model. And then I glued in the air duct assembly from underneath of the body as well. The rear panel in behind the mesh was glued in, but again, uh, the holes for the tail lights do not line up with the holes in the mesh. I uh, just wanted to have a bit of a quick look there. I kept assembling the model, I glued in the little black photo etched hood latches and then I glued in the little silver uh, air nozzle or air jack. These buckles came with the kit, I bent those up and then glued those into the body which they look really good and then I glued the completed headlight bucket assemblies into the resin body. Here I glued in the rear wing legs, painted the tail lights that were clear resin and added some mirrors then the canopy which is the scary part uh, the top section had to be red so I masked this up ready to paint it on the underside I actually applied some white decal after I painted it red uh, just in case when I spray the next coat of black paint it didn't make the red look darker uh, as you can see there that's the canopy with the red section all the masking removed while that was drying a bit more, I applied some of the finer parts on the back of the model, painted the exhaust outlets or exhaust mufflers, and then back onto the canopy. So now I have to paint the inside black frame, which is painted on the inside, uh, and there's that piece of white decal that I was talking about, uh, just so that the underside of the red was not black and it didn't make the red look darker. So I sprayed that in to me a black removed all the masking and that's the first section of the black painted frame. Now I just taped this into the body because there is a lower section of the canopy that needs to be black so I wanted to mark on the outside with some tape basically where the edge of the black should be. I then reverse masked that and then sprayed that outer edge in black. Masking removed and then you can see now the black painted out section. I checked the fitment into the body with the interior underneath. I wasn't happy with the way it fit at the back so I had to actually sand out the back edge of the body so that the canopy sat in there but I got that glued in looking reasonably good. The canopy was then cleaned and the floor was able to be screwed back into the model and then I could start attaching the wheels and tyres. These were all just glued in. I then had to trim the clear lenses to fit into the headlight buckets and they were glued in as well as the exhaust mufflers on the back. The diffuser was then trimmed just on the inside edges as my tyres are a lot wider than the ones on the kit um, but a little bit of trimming on the inside and the diffuser was then glued on so uh, that's nearly the back of the model done. The wing again had to be modified, the wing legs actually had the wrong angle on them so I had to trim those to make the angle of the wing sit right and I also glued on this little photo etched race window piece as well. Again the wiper that came in the kit was terrible so I used a AutoArt Lamborghini Aventador windscreen wiper and I made my own little homemade communication aerial to go on the roof. I then gave the model a bit of a clean up with a Tamiya polishing cloth and added the uh, Ferrari badges and emblems on the model and overall that's the model finished so even though it was a kit uh, it did require a lot of cleanup of the body and the other parts there were a lot of parts that didn't really fit right that had to be modified and adjusted uh, and there were quite a few parts missing in the kit as well so I guess that's what you get when you buy a resin kit off eBay uh, from an unknown manufacturer uh, there's going to be some things that 
don't fit right are or are missing but overall I'm pretty happy with how the model came out uh, I love this actual car and no one else makes a model of it so I jumped at the chance to buy the resin kit but that's basically how this model was uh, made how it was assembled uh, I think the end result looks pretty good and I hope you enjoyed this episode of how it was made so this is the Ferrari P45 Competizione so stay tuned to the channel we've got plenty more model reviews on the way plenty more how-to videos uh, and I'm currently building a few more custom models as well so there's plenty more on the channel to come make sure you're subscribed make sure you click that bell notification and until next time thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars